Today we are going to learn about walking the cup. What is walking the cup? Walking the cup is a TIG welding technique used at the highest levels in places like refineries, power plants, and steel mills. Take your training tool and hold it in your hand along the handle. Now, when you're grabbing, you can have hand placement towards the bottom of the handle, higher up towards the head, and even choked up to the head itself, depending on what is comfortable for you. I recommend try different hand placements and different techniques throughout all of this training process to find what works for you mechanically and what you like the best. To walk the cup, it's very simple. You will place your TIG torch on the material at the O-ring. Do not place it back on the cup and on the head, the body of the head. Make sure that it is seated right on the O-ring. The motions, the mechanics that we will use are very basic. It's only two steps, okay, easy. We'll break it down into rock and roll, not Led Zeppelin, not that kind. But a basic rock and roll two-step motion is all we're gonna do. So we're not worrying about wire. We're not worrying about staying within boundaries going down. We're not worrying about speed. I just want you to feel the torch in your hand and start getting comfortable with the basic motion. So for the rock, the first step, easy, easy. All we're gonna do is place it on our material at the o-ring like we said and pivot from side to side that's our rock we're on a fixed point just pivoting for the second motion to complete it the roll it's just like it sounds you just roll that wrist out to whichever direction you just rocked okay so set it down I'm gonna rock to the side and roll it out. Rock the other way, roll it out. That's all I'm doing back and forth down my material. So in real time, it'll look something like this. We set our uh, torch down, boom. If you notice, I am keeping my tungsten, my end point, that will be the tungsten in your real torch. It directs the arc and the heat. I'm keeping that tungsten about a 332nd to an eighth of an inch above my base material at all times. I'm not swinging it up wildly. It's staying down tight in that range. That's it, it's that simple. Now, it's not that easy. That's why we have this, but it is that simple. Practice walking on a surface just to start off with. Like I said, I just want you to get comfortable with the torch in your hand, what that weight feels like, and this fine, small manipulations for the end of that tungsten. We'll pick back up next week.